Hello everyone, uh, this tutorial is going to discuss about the CYK algorithm which is used to determine if a string uh, belongs to a particular context-free grammar language. Right, so given a context-free grammar G and a string W where G equals V, where, where V equals finite set of variables, sigma equals the alphabet, P is the finite set of productions, S is the start symbol, and V and sigma are assumed to be disjoint. So G is used to generate the string of a language. And now the question is, is W, that there is a string, does it belong to the language or not? So for this case, CYK algorithm is used. So CYK algorithm, the first and foremost rule of the CYK algorithm is that all these productions that are given, they have to be in Chomsky normal form. If they're not in Chomsky normal form, then CYK algorithm cannot be applied. So let's start with the simulation. So B A A B A. This is the string generated. Now we need to test if this string does it belong to this language. Okay. So B. For B, the variable that's responsible for generating B is capital B. The variable uh, that is responsible for generating A is capital A and capital C. The variable that's responsible for A is again capital A, capital C, B is B, and A is capital A, capital C. Right. So now in this in the second iteration, we need to look for two letters. In the first iteration was just one letter, B individually, A individually, A individually, B individually, and then again A individually. This time we are going to be looking for B A, A A, a b and b a so b a so this is written here in the in the next step we need to find out what variables generate b a a a a b and b a so b a is generated by this uh, uppercase b and uppercase a and uppercase b and uppercase c so these variables generate b a so b a and b c b a is generated by a BC is generated by S. Right now, let's go for AA and uh, AA. So the variables that are responsible are AA, AC, CA, and CC. So all the combinations. That is, we need to just union these two these two sets, and then we just find out all these combinations. So all the combinations point to just one uh, variable. So it's B, because B generates CC. Right. Next, we try to generate A, B, and C, B. So, A, B is generated by S, and C, B is generated by none. A, B is also generated by C. So, we get S and C. So, then next step is B, A, and B, C. B, A is generated by A, and B, C is generated by S. So A and S, right. Now we go to the third iteration. Here we look for three letters. So B A A, A A B, and A B A. It's written here. B A A, B A A, A A B, and A B A. Now B A A has to be can be found by B union A A or B A union A. So B union A A. So B is generated by this, and a A is generated by this. Recall that on the second iteration, it was uh, we had two letter two letter words B A A A A B and A A. So we could get that for here uh, from here. We could get the variable for of that of the two letter words from here. So the the variables are B B, right? B union A A is B B. Is there B B anywhere? No. So let's move on to B A union A. So B for B A the variables are AS and A is AC. So AS and union AC. AA there is no, no string. AC there is no string. SA there is no string and SC there is no string. So this would be empty set. Let's just keep it blank. Now we next next uh, word is AAB. AAB right? So A for A A B we could have A union A B. A is here and A B is here. So A C and S C. 
there is a there is no word as as there is ac no, there is no ac there is cc which is generated by b so this is red b here and there is no uh, there is no ac or cc there okay so b is the only thing that's generated so uh, we, could, we could also test out the, uh, the, uh, the other strings, other combinations, but like A, A and B. So A, A is generated by B and B is B. There is no word, there is no, vari there is no com uh, variables with B, B, right? Why? A, A union B, right? So A, for A, A, we get the variable here and for B, we get the variable here. So B, B, there is no uh, productions with B, B. So that's, so the only uh, variable we get is B. So next up is ABA. For ABA, the combinations are A union BA. A is here and BA is here. So AC and AS. There is no AA, there is no AS, there is no CA, and there is no CS. Right? So then we go to the next combination, AB union A. AB is SC and A is AC. Right? So S A there is no string C C there is B right and uh, S A S C C C so B is the only resulting result here. Next up with four letters we have we have B A A B or A A B A so B A A B or A A B A okay has to overlap. So B A A B we have three uh, combinations B A A union B so B A A so B A A is three letter word so here so it's empty so that will give us nothing B that will give us nothing so B union A A B the B is here and A A B is three letter word so here so B B there is no B B uh, production so this is empty. Right. Then we go to uh, the second, the second one, A A B A. Uh, so with A A B A, we have A A B union A. So A A B or A A B is a three letter. So B union A. So B A or B C. B A is A. B C is S. And the other combination is A A union B A. So A A is a B A for A union A B A A B A is present here so B and A C A for A the variable is here so A B for A B we get C so C is also present and the last final iteration we just consider the whole string the whole five letter string so the combinations that we would get is B A A union B A so B A A union B B A is a three letter it's here and BA is two letter, it's here, so nothing. BA union ABA. BA is two letter, so AS. And ABA is three letter. ABA is three letter, so here. So AS or SB. So a, a, AB or SB. AB is C and S. And SB is none. Okay. Then last, B union AABA. So B union ABA. A A B is a four letter, so B A. So B union A S C. So B A there is a word A, there is a variable A, and B S there is none, and B C is S, which is already there. So this is the final um, answer. So what this means is that the string, the string can be reached from these uh, from these variables A S and C. And that means if if we have if we would have gotten phi in the end like in this last row in this last row if we would have gotten phi then then uh, what you call then that string that particular string b a a is in b a b a or something or whatever it if it's given that would not belong to the language but since we did get some variables including the start symbol this then this this string definitely belongs to this language especially that the start, start symbol is present this means that this B A A B A is definitely present in this uh, uh, context-free language. So that's about it for CYK algorithm. I hope you've understood the concept. Uh, uh, and this is a simple one, but if there are tougher problems, it's better if you draw. If, sorry, 
it's better if you draw up something uh, write up something like this like a set operation unioning and finding all the combinations then you, then you would get a more accurate result so that's about it give a thumbs up if you like this and 